it's been a while <laughs> it's been a while hi guys welcome back to the show the channel oh sorry it's so hot in it oh, yeah. hi guys welcome back to the show it's your girl triple o oh it's been a long time sorry it's so hot i'm drinking coffee and lemon I'm trying to lose weight before my holiday <laughs> this video is about the kylie skin travel kit i don't actually know if you can see this this is very uh -huh. the kylie kin travel kit i've been using shout out to my mnc gang for getting me for my birthday love you lot so yeah i got this as a gift i requested it because i really wanted to try it i still haven't tried her lip kit because of, well back too fair back in the day the lip kit was just too expensive to ship it wasn't that it was expensive it was just expensive to ship to the uk but now that it's available in suffrages along with her skin kit and her skincare products i am living i haven't actually personally bought anything from kylie <laughs> I say and do you know me like i want to buy it, i'm gonna buy it, i'm gonna buy it but you just never buy it that was me i just never bought it so then my birthday was coming up so i thought you know i know all of these on its own are quite high not not high but it's not super job prices let's say that yeah it's not super job prices in it so i wanted to i wanted someone to buy it for me if i'm being honest <laughs> I was being cheap i wanted someone to work for me and they did i'm going to be reviewing this i've actually washed my face with one of the products already so yeah i haven't this like my face is bare like no product whatsoever i haven't even creamed i haven't done skincare routine that's what we're here for i'm going to show you with the sky kylie skin kit blah 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 but yeah let me stop rambling make sure to like comment and subscribe i'm going to put a link down below where you can buy it you know it's black friday soon but it's a, it could be a nice oh could be a nice christmas stocking because it's a travel set i wouldn't buy this as like a proper christmas present like i'm gonna like if i made a travel set for christmas and this is a luggage <laughs> i will look at you like what the hell because travel size is small let me stop rambling and let's get into the video also i just double checked her website oh sh damn i've got 63 tabs open and she's currently doing 30% off for Black Friday. I've never actually bought from her website, but if you're in the UK, just go soft just. <laughs> just go soft just. But I'm gonna put a link to her website as well as Selfridges. Cause I don't know anywhere else where it sells. Ooh! Ooh. It's currently on sale for 25 pound 20 on her website. I think that's gonna be similar. And let me just check Selfridges quickly. No. Oh oh it's even it's, okay it's cheaper on her website actually sorry guys it's actually a lot more cheaper on her website than selfridges selfridges well with the code self cce it's 30 pound 60 but on her website it's 25 pound 20. sorry my lips are dry all right i'm just gonna tie my hair up because obviously we're getting product in my face i just can see my face is very dry <laughs> it looks dry it looks very very dry firstly I'm going to talk to you about the foaming face wash. I don't know if you can see that with the light. Yeah. I have been, obviously you can see it's very, very small. It's only 30 milliliters. I've been using this very, like, maybe once a week or something. I've had this since, like, end of September. So, to be fair, I've made lots. I've actually made lots. It has coconut base. Let me just get the list of things that it has. Formulated with glycerin and coconut based. Sulfatants? Sulfatants? Sulfactants? I'm gonna say sulfactants, I can't read. It's got coconut. Cause I was thinking, what is that smell? It has a scent. I'm not really a fan of scented skincare, but it's good for my skin and I'm not gonna complain. And this one makes my skin feel so like, even says it's like a pampering experience. I feel like I'm in the spa. Like, it's so soft to rub in. And it's like, even though it's centered and stuff, it doesn't, like, if it goes in your eye, it doesn't hurt. Trust me, I've just tested it. Not that I tested it <laughs> by accident. It doesn't hurt as much as most skin, most um, most other products. Like, some products will actually burn your eye. This one, it's not, it's not that harsh. It's actually not that harsh. I think she actually listens to us, you know, babes who actually were like, you know, who have clear skin and don't want something too harsh on their skin that's going to make them break out. It literally removed 
dirt, oil, makeup. This is the only thing I used this morning. So this is the only product I've used on my face to wash my face. So this is like the end result, I guess. I guess. When you rub it in, it creates like a really creamy lather, which I, I love a creamy lather. I feel like when I, when I have a creamy lather, I know the product's gonna work. For me, anyway. The lather ain't creamy, I ain't putting it on my face. Like I said, it is lightly scented. If you don't, if you're not a fan of scented products, you're not gonna, you don't wanna try this. So if I knew it was scented beforehand, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Well, I didn't buy it. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have asked for it, but I didn't read the, the details, so. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna hate on it. I'm not gonna hate on it at all. It is a very good product. I'm gonna buy the full size. The full size is actually currently on sale on her website for £18.20. From, ooh, from £26. Mm. Mm. I might just buy the six regime bundle. It makes more sense. But yeah, that is the foaming. It's called the foaming foam wash. That's a tongue for stuff. Foaming foam wash, foaming foam wash, foaming foam wash. And like I said, I haven't creamed. Even though my skin looks dry, it doesn't actually feel dry at all. Sorry, my memory is here. Like, even though, yeah, I'm scratching my face. Look, sometimes I scratch my face to see how dry it is. Only the white line came up here. So from here to here, nothing. Next, we, oh. We got to do it, well, it's not an order. I just got, it's not an order of like, routine that's not really helpful what if i wanted it in order routine that's not helpful next up is one of my faves it's like it's i remember one time i actually spilled it and i almost cried like i was like this is only fucking faith it was like no the minute i used it i loved it this is the kylie skin vanilla milk toner as you can see it's been used <laughs> i love this toner this is probably one of my favorite toners i have ever used this milk toner let me tell you let me just tell you now love it absolutely love it absolutely love it let me tell you the ingredients just in case some of you want to know it has it's um formulated with moisturizing glycerin squalene i don't know what it is what are these scientific names for products oh my gosh squalene apple <laughs> extract and avocado oil the skin perfecting toner helps smooth and improve the appearance of pores to fair, I haven't used it often to see the difference in my pores because the custom is like, I can't use this every day. I refuse to use it every day. No, until I get the bigger bottle, I'm not using this every day. The color pads. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. You see how like my color has basically come up into my skin. It smells more coconutty than vanilla -y. vanilla -y. <laughs> vanilla than vanilla in my eyes i was getting coconut not vanilla at all like there's no there's no it doesn't smell like vanilla at all in my eyes like i don't know what she thinks vanilla smells like but it is not this <clears throat> it goes on really well i'd say it disappears quite quickly like there's no residue left on your face and all that stuff like you don't have to go over it countless times make sure you get your nose I get a lot of like build up around my nose so ooh, that is that look at that that from just washing my face <laughs> like there's color back in my skin it's lightly fragranced again i feel like she was going for like coconut scented products because this does not smell like vanilla <laughs> so obviously you use this after you've washed your face in the normal skincare routine she used toner after washing your face and then go on to everything i think Blah blah blah. Literally just sweep it across your skin with a cotton bud, like it says, and that's it. And it dries really quickly, like it makes your skin feel really soft. Like I feel like I've even creamed my face and I haven't. Like I could go out like this and no one would know I haven't creamed my face. And look, no white mark. I'm impressed, Kylie. I'm very impressed. But again, I don't use it often because like I said, it's only 30 mils. Travel kits should start from like at least 50. I think 50 mils are alright for a travel kit, especially if you're going away, like, realistically, depending on how long you're going for, 50 mils are alright. But anyway, <laughs> this is not about the millilitres of the products, this is about the products. Next, we are going to talk about the Vitamin C Serum. This is her Vitamin C Serum. The one thing I did say, I don't like the smell of this. It smells like...
like a new car seat like the leather of a new car seat or something like that or like maybe it's the sapphire safflower seed oil making it smell like this but i don't really like the smell it doesn't affect me wearing it i just don't like the smell like, that's the only qualm i actually have about this product is that it doesn't smell nice at all and i know it's a serum serums are, not most of my serums have scents or they have if they do they're kind of like an oily scent or like a citrus scent i don't like this scent at all <clears throat> it doesn't smell nice in my opinion and i know a lot of you don't like to put stuff that smells nasty on your face so yeah if you can stomach it enjoy it literally one pump she says <clears throat> I'm actually going to go in with two because I didn't distribute it well enough around my face. So just a little bit on my forehead. Even though it doesn't smell nice, it goes on really well. It kind of dries quickly, I would say in my eye. But it's very smoothing. Like You know how sometimes when you put, product in your, you put different products on your skin and it starts to like clump up and come, like you can pick it off and all that stuff. I hate when that happens. But this one doesn't, doesn't do that at all and what i love most about this product it's not a greasy serum because a lot of serums are very greasy as you can see <laughs> minah look greasy <laughs> it's not greasy at all so if you're an oily skin person who like if, if you're an oily skin person i feel like you try to avoid like me i used to try to avoid serums because they made me look so greasy and so oily and i hated it it's like I've just added an extra layer of oil on my face and I hate it. But this one, I fucks with it. It's actually formulated to, us, to um, moisturize the upper layer of your skin. So, you know, the most visible part of your skin. Let me tell you what's inside it. I've got safflower oil, safflower seed oil, glycerin. Glycerin is very good for your skin, like I've been mentioning. And vitamin C. I'm surprised it's a vitamin C serum. <laughs> Okay, like I said before, it's non-greasy and it's mentioned here. This rich yet non-greasy formula helps brighten and improve the appearance of dull skin for a healthy glow. Well, I can't even hate on Kaya for this one. This is good. For once, like, you know when these celebrities bring out products and they're actually shit? Kylie's actually good. Like I actually can say it's actually a good product. It's not just for clout. It's not just because she's popular and she's got a famous family the products actually work <clears throat> so that's good helps brighten and improve the appearance of dull skin glycerin and sapphire safflower seed oil powerful moisturizing agents help maintain the skin's moisture vegan no fragrance added dermatology it's been um, it's been tested by dermatology i wouldn't say it's a, maybe maybe they should add a fragrance to it because it smells about it anyway like it stinks <laughs> hey it's not a, it's not like an overpowering bad 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 smell it's just it's not it's like if i smell this in store i probably wouldn't buy it but i will buy it again because i know how good it works as you can see and i haven't even finished my skincare routine so ooh, 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 ooh. so i think i'm gonna go off camera and finish the rest of my skincare routine because yeah this is just a review of Kylie, so I don't want to tell you of other things. That's in another video. Alright, so I'm going to go camera, finish my skincare routine, and come back to review the last and final product. A few moments later. Alright, I'm back. I just like I haven't done anything, I know, <laughs> but I've done 99.9% .9 of my skincare routine. So the last thing to do is moisturize, actually. This is the Kylie Face Moisturizer. Now, if I'm being honest, it actually took me a while to try this one out because I'm very picky about my face moisturizers. Please, I'm oily. I'm not trying to put anything heavy on my face. I'm not trying to do anything to make me look sweaty, sweatier than I am. So yeah, I was like a bit hesitant just to try it. But then I finally went on her website and I read that, you know, it helps it helps your skin and it doesn't make it doesn't make it any more oilier it basically hydrates the skin without making it oilier yeah <laughs> so i was like okay okay all right i'll give in i'll try it i'll try it fragrance free like a fragrance free cream yeah 
looks like that. And I will say it's actually not as greasy as I thought it was going to be. It's not even greasy to be fair. It's like a, how can I say it? It just goes on really well. <laughs> it just feels like an everyday moisturizer. It doesn't have any, ooh. does it make you feel like, what the hell is this? It just feels so soft to the touch. Like, I feel like I'm getting a facial. Maybe because I've done all my skincare now, my skincare feels really, really soft. But even sometimes when I don't do my skincare and I just put it on my, by itself, if this is me with the cream on, like that is my skincare done. I need to do an updated skincare routine for you. Like, tell me if you want an updated skincare routine for you. I know I did one on my Instagram like just about a year ago, but I haven't done one on since. And I've updated my skincare routine a lot. <laughs> but that is the finished skincare. Ignore the hair. <laughs> yeah, that's me. How would you think? Like, gee, I don't know if you think Kylie's worth it. I personally think Kylie's skin is actually worth it. I never thought I would say that. I don't think, you know what, as much as I thought, you know, her lip kit was going to be worth it, I never got it, whatever. Her makeup, I just never, I haven't got around to trying it. But her skincare, I would say it's actually quite worth it, like I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you might spend maybe 89 pounds on like six, seven products. That's all right. I mean, I know you'd be crying, <laughs> the bank will be crying with you. But in the long run, you're like, oh, my skin is looking pang. Like, actually, I've had this for a month and a half. And like, wait, oh, end of the month, do it. will be two months by like, by Sunday. <laughs> two months by Sunday that I've had it. And I can't lie, it's probably one of the best presents I got. My skin looks good. I can't help it. I need to try some of her other products on her website. I'm going to try her clarifying facial oil and her D tox face ones because those ones apparently are good for shine and excess oil but <laughs> like i said that is my review of kylie's skin overall i would give it an 8 out of 10 the, the kit itself no the kit itself i'll give yeah i'll give it 8 out of 10 just because of the size like i get it, it's a travel size but i feel like travel sizes should be a bit bigger than that it really is i think 50 is a good size travel <laughs> it's good for size travel it's good for size travel it's a good size to take on your travels yeah okay, right <laughs> but individually individually okay so individually face wash i give a 10 i have no qualms about it i love it it smells good makes my skin really soft makes my skin really clean nice. so yeah i'll give that 10 out of 10 now face cream eh, i actually give a 10 out of, i actually have no problem with it it doesn't do anything like bad to my skin it doesn't make me look oilier than i am it doesn't like dry out my skin after a while it just does what it says it makes your skin feel soft and smooth it makes me look normal it makes me look like i have like not matte skin but i have like normal skin <laughs> if that makes sense i don't look oily and that's all that matters so 10 out of 10 the serum this is probably the only product i'll probably have an issue with just because i don't like the smell that's the only issue i have with it i don't like the smell if it if i like the smell don't probably give it a 10 out of 10 but because of the smell i give it eight i just don't like the smell at all and then oh no put it the wrong way around <laughs> the milk toner the milk toner i will give I give it a 9 out of 10 yeah just because I know when I put it on it kind of disappears really quickly <laughs> sometimes I like to soak my pad and I can't do that with this one it's just like it when you, once it goes in your skin it kind of just like starts to disappear really quickly so you only have like a couple seconds before it's gone like it's dried up it's gone but it's not drying if that makes sense it's just dried up it's just not drying I can't is that a good description <laughs> it dries up quickly but it's not drying on the skin yeah yeah, I hope, I hope that was helpful anyway. But yeah, that's my Kai skin review. I have some more reviews actually. I've been reviewing a lot of things. So yeah, my video, my channel's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be showing a lot. Of, it's gonna be showing a lot of reviews. Watch out for my. It's got. I've got two more brands on the review. But like I said, this review will be coming out near Black Friday. So there's a lot of. When is Black Friday? Black Friday is on next Friday. Oh, what day is it now? It's the nineteenth now, actually. Today's the nineteenth. So yeah. She, oh, she really she really put up her Black Friday prices before. That's good. So yeah, 
this is on sale for 25.20 on her actual website and it's 30 pounds something on selfridges so wherever you want to go it's up to you this packaging okay before i go the packaging i probably have to say it's a1 because it's so hard to take everything out this shit is not leaking this shit is not spilling this shit is not falling out of anything like this shit ain't coming out this shit doesn't want to come out now so whatever <clears throat> this is the box that it comes in obviously i've probably put a i already put a picture on on the screen but this is the box it comes in nice and pink like kylie <laughs> back here's all the details and how often you use it doesn't really say how often you should use it it just says how to use it i kind of like when it says how often you should use it and like you know use your routine like it's not in the order i don't like that it should go face wash toner serum then moisturizer maybe i'm just being picky but yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure to watch out for my new ones to so make sure you like comment and subscribe share with your friends your family whatever just share it <laughs> and i'll see you in my next one bye